So welcome back to part three of the Rose Cardigan Crochet Along with Cozy Rosie UK. I am excited to share with you the first part of the decreasing on our side panels. If you've already made both your side panels, move one out of the way. Today we're going to be doing our decreases for our left panel. So it doesn't matter which one you pick up. The other one you've put aside is going to be the right panel. If you've only made one of your panels, you are making your left panel. Now, before we get started, if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button and of course the notification bell so you don't miss out on the right hand side for the decreases. It's really important that you do work both your left and your right so that you end up that both sides panels have a right side and a wrong side so that you get a nice uh, finish of your project. As always, you can find the written version of this pattern over on the website. Everything is linked in the description box for you. I do also need to let you know, depending on which size you're making, there are going to be some differences in the decrease rows, depending on the size that you're making. But the first five rows are the same, regardless of which size you make. And then I'm going to point out the changes as we go through those rows. So we should have one row of extended half double crochets after working into our chain one spaces. If you haven't worked that last row, it's going to be a bit challenging. So make sure you've worked that final row of your side panel section before continuing on to your decrease rows. So we're only going to make this version of the decreases on one of our panels. I'm going to reiterate that once again. I'm not expecting you to make that mistake, but just in case, please remember there is a second part of decreasing, which is for the right side panel. So for row one of the decrease rows left, we're going to begin with a chain of one so that we can turn our work and work the first of our decrease rows. So for the left side panel, we're gonna start by working one extended half double crochet into the same stitch as our chain one. I've yarned over and I'm ready to insert my hook into the same stitch as our chain one. So yarn over, bring your loop up, yarn over, just pull through that first loop for that extended half double crochet and yarn over to pull through all three loops. Whichever size you're making, we're going to continue to work one extended half double crochet all the way down until we have six stitches remaining. Now, if you're not the best at remembering to stop, you can, of course, grab a stitch marker and count your six stitches back before you start. So there's my chain one. So one, two, three, four, five and six. I'm going to mark that six stitch just so I know where to stop working my extended half double crochets. So I'm going to work one extended half double crochet into each stitch across until there are only six stitches remaining. So I'm going to yarn over and insert, bring the loop up, yarn over, pull through that first loop before we yarn over for a final time to complete that extended half double crochet. So work one extended half double crochet into each stitch across until you have just six stitches remaining and I will meet you there. So once we've reached the point where we just have six stitches remaining, we are going to work our first extended half double crochet two together. So much like any other decrease, we're going to be working across the next two stitches to decrease it into one. So to work the extended half double crochet two together, we start by yarning over, inserting our hook into that next stitch, yarn over, bring our loop up. So we have our normal three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and just pull through that first loop. We yarn over the hook and insert our hook into the next stitch. Yarn over to bring up a fifth loop. Yarn over, pull through just that first loop. We should still have five loops on our hook. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops on our hook. We are then going to work one extended half double crochet into the next. So we yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, bring our loop up, yarn over, just pull through that first loop before we complete that yarn over and pull through three to finish that stitch. We're going to work a second extended half double crochet two together across the next two stitches. So we'll do this again. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch, Yarn over, bring our third loop up, yarn over and just pull through that first loop. We're then going to yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch. Yarn over to bring up a fifth loop. 
yarn over just pull through that first loop before we finish by yarning over and pulling through all five loops on our hook. I'm going to finish this row one of our decrease rows by working one extended half double crochet into that last stitch. So our stitch count is going to decrease by two in this row because we've worked two decreases. So depending on which size you're making, you should have the following stitch counts. Should, um, for extra small would be 22, 24, 28, 32, 34, 38, 40, 44 and 46 for the 5XL. You can't quite see that we have now started decreasing just on one side. So all of our decrease stitches will be on the same side of our panel. Going into row two of our decreasing, we're going to start by making a chain of one. So we can turn our work. And with this row, we're going to start by working one extended half double crochet into the same as our chain one. So we yarn over and insert, bring our loop up, yarn over to pull through one, yarn over to pull through all three loops. We're also going to work one extended half double crochet into the next stitch. So we yarn over and work our next extended half double crochet. We're then going to work our decrease stitch across the next two stitches. So our extended half double crochet two together. So we start by yarning over the hook, insert our hook into that next stitch, yarn over to bring our loop up, yarn over just to pull through that first loop only. We yarn over and insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over to bring our loop up, yarn over just pull through that first loop, we should still have five loops on our hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops. For the rest of this row, we're just going to be working one extended half double crochet into each stitch across, just as normal. So just one extended half double crochet into each stitch across. We're only reducing our stitch count by one. Already you should start to see your work coming in ever so slightly with just those two decrease rows. So continue to work one extended half double crochet into each stitch across and I will meet you at the end of row two. So at the end of row two you should have your decreased stitch here and then one extended half double crochet all the way across and your stitch count should be 21, 23, 27, 31, 33, 37, 39, 43, or 45 for the 5XL. So I've just decreased by one stitch and you can see that it's trying to be a bit naughty. Don't worry, that will even out as we continue up in our rows. So for row three, we're going to repeat row one. So we start with a chain of one, so we can turn our work, and get our hook up to the right length. And once again, we're gonna be working across to until we have six stitches remaining. So if you want to mark your sixth stitch, it's quite hard to say, um, you can of course do that. I'm just tilting my work towards me so I can locate that first stitch. It can be quite easy to lose that last stitch there. So I'm going to make sure that I can locate my last stitch, which is there. There's my chain one for reference. I hope you can see that. And then one, two, three, four, five. And there's number six. So I'm just going to pop my stitch marker in just so I know where to stop working my extended half double crochets. Those with the smaller sizes might not quite have as far a distance to make but I am making that extra large so I have a little bit way a little bit of a way further to go. So for row three we're going to continue to work one extended half double crochet into each stitch across until we have just six stitches remaining and I will meet you there to work our next decreases. So once we've worked across till we have six stitches remaining, we are ready to work our decreased stitches. So we're going to yarn over and insert into our sixth stitch to the end. Yarn over to bring that loop up. Yarn over and just pull through that first loop only. We yarn over, insert our hook into the next. Yarn over, bring our loop back up. Yarn over, just pull through that first loop. And we're going to yarn over and pull through the remaining five loops. We then work one extended half double crochet into the next stitch. 
just as normal before working our next extended half double crochet two together. So we yarn over and insert, yarn over to bring our loop up, yarn over, just pull through that first loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, bring your loop up, yarn over, just pull through that first loop before we finally yarn over to pull through the remaining five loops. We end row three with working one extended half double crochet into that last stitch. And if I was to lay that flat, you can really start to see how we are getting our decreases now. So after row three, our extended half double crochet stitch count has reduced by two this time. So we now have uh, for extra small, we have 19 followed by 21, 25, 29, 31, 35, 37, 41, 43, 4, 5 XL. Whew, it's a long list when we have all these lovely nine sizes available. So at the end of row three, you should start to see your decreases showing there. And for row four, we're going to repeat row two. So we uh, chain one, and this time we're going um, to work one extended half double crochet into that same stitch as our chain one. We work the first stitch and we're working an extended half double crochet into the next as well. You might be wondering why we just don't work our extended half double crochets right on the edge. Well, you can see that we have a bit of a curve in here. And if I was to work another stitch right on top, it would curve even more. So by putting our increases a little bit more inside into our row, it just makes a neater decrease. Once we've worked one extended half double crochet into those first two stitches, we're going to work our decrease again. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that next stitch, bring our loop up, yarn over, pull through just that first loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, bring your loop up, yarn over, just pull through that first loop again before we work and sorry, yarn over and pull through all five loops. I got caught, I got distracted, there we are. For the rest of row four, we are going to work one extended half double crochet into each stitch across. And after this row, our stitch count will have decreased again, just by one. So continue to work across and I will see you at the end of row four. So at the end of row four, our stitch count will have reduced once again, just by one stitch this time. So you will either have 18, 20, 24, 28, 30, 34, 36, 40 or 42 for a 5XL. We're going to go straight into row five because we're repeating row three once again. So we're going to start by making a chain of one. So we are working our extended half double crochets all the way across to our sixth stitch again. So now that we've got more of these decreases, you can see that it can become confusing. So really take a moment to make sure you found that last stitch. I wonder if you can spot mine from there if I tilt it towards you. For me, it's quite obvious, but I really want to make sure there's the last chain one, there's that first stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, there's number six. I'm going to mark it because then I know that when I'm crocheting along, I need to stop here before we work our decreases. And it kind of helps me know that I've located that first stitch. It's not in any of these chains. It's that first stitch. So you can see that we're really, really starting to decrease now. And it's a nice kind of gentle curve. Lovely. So for row five, we are repeating row three, working one extended half double crochet into the same as our chain one and working one extended half double crochet into each stitch across until six stitches remain. I will meet you when you've worked down to just six stitches remaining, ready to work our decreases again. Once you have just six stitches remaining, we are ready to work our decreases. So we're yarning over, ready to insert our hook into that sixth stitch to the end. Yarn over, bring our loop up. Yarn over, just pull through that first loop. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch. 
yarn over to bring up your fifth loop, yarn over, just pull through that first loop before finally we yarn over and pull through all five loops. We work an extended half double crochet into that next stitch. We should now have just three stitches remaining to work into. So we're going to work another decrease by yarning over and inserting our hook. Bring that loop up, yarn over, pull through that first loop. Yarn over again and insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, bring that loop up. Yarn over, pull through that first loop on your hook. Before we yarn over, pull through all five loops and we work one extended half double crochet into that final stitch. At the end of row five, an extra small will have a stitch count of 16. Then we go 18, 22, 26, 28, 32, 34, 38 and 40. So at this point, our grouping of our stitches or the stitch counts are going to change ever so slightly because the rows for large 3 to 5 XL are slightly different. Uh, the, those sizes are going to make a couple of extra decreases just to give them a slightly wider open net. The difference between the sizing is only about half an inch to an inch wider either side of the pattern. So if you want a closer fit across your neckline, then you can, of course, just follow the same rows that I'm going to be giving to the extra small through to the medium. So the sizes extra small through to medium have now finished their decreasing. This is as narrow as your neckline is going to be getting. So it's kind of you've only decreased by about two inches, maybe an inch and a half to two inches, whereas we're going to the larger size is going to decrease down to about here. So if you're comfortable with the width that you have right now, you don't need to do any more decreases unless you want to. I am going to decrease just a little bit more because I am quite broad um, and I want this to look as delicate as possible because this ultimately is the shoulder section that's going to come up past your neck. So for row six, we're going to start by making our chain of one. And we're working our half double crochet row here. So we yarn over, insert our hook into the same stitch as our chain one, yarn over to bring our loop up before pulling through all three for our half double crochet. An extra small through to medium, just stay where you are for a moment. So for large to 5XL, we're going to yarn over and work one half double crochet into the next. And then all sizes from extra small through to 5XL are going to skip the next stitch. So for the extra small through to medium, you should only have one half double crochet. So for large through to 5XL, we should have one half double crochet in the first and the next stitch. So for all sizes, we skip the next stitch, yarn over, insert our hook into the next to work one half double crochet, a chain one, yarn over again to reinsert the hook to work our second half double crochet to create our half double crochet V stitch. For the remainder of this row, we are all going to skip the next and continue to work one half double crochet, a chain one, followed by another half double crochet. And we're gonna repeat that all the way across. So skip the next, insert your hook into the next stitch along to work your half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. We're going to repeat this all the way across to our last stitch. So I will meet you for our final stitch. If you're making size extra small through to medium, you'll just have one stitch remaining after your last um, half double crochet V stitch. If you're making a large through to a 5XL, we will have two stitches remaining and we're going to skip that stitch and we all work one half double crochet into that last stitch. So at the end of row six, extra small will, ha will have a stitch count of 16 and seven, half and seven chain one spaces. Small will have 18 half double crochets or eight chain one spaces and medium will have 22 half double crochets and nine chain one spaces. Large will have 25 half double crochets and 11 chain one spaces. Extra large will have 27 and 12 chain one spaces. 2XL will have 31 and 14 chain one spaces. 
3XL will have 33 and 15 chain one spaces. 4XL will have 37 along with 17 chain one spaces. And 5XL will have 39 half double crochets and 18 chain one spaces. So sizes large to 5XL will have decreased by just one half double crochet by missing out that extra V stitch there. So going into row seven, we're going to chain one. And this row is only slightly different for those larger sizes. And that's right at the end. So we all start the same. We start with our chain one and we're going to work one half double crochet into the same stitch as our chain one. And we skip that next stitch, ready to work our half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet into that chain one space in between those stitches. So we yarn over and insert, oh, sorry about my dog, um, yarn over and pull through all three, work your chain one and reinsert into the same chain one space to work your second half double crochet. So for sizes extra small through to medium, you're going to repeat this all the way down and skip the last two stitches. I'll meet you for the final stitch. If you're working a large three to a five XL, I'm going to meet you at our last chain one space and all will become clear. So just continue to repeat down working one half double crochet, a chain one and a second half double crochet into each of your chain one spaces. If you're making a large three to a five XL, I'm going to meet you at your last chain one space. So for sizes extra small through to medium, you're going to be working your half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet into your last chain one space. If you're making a large three to a five XL, we are simply going to place one half double crochet into that final chain one space. So we just literally work one half double crochet. Sizes extra small to medium, simply work one half double crochet into your final stitch. If you are making a large three to a five XL, we are gonna work a half double crochet together across the next two stitches. So if you're extra small to small and you've finished your row working your final half double crochet, wait for us for one little moment. If you're making a large to a 5XL, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, bring your loop up, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, bring a fifth loop up, and we're going to yarn over and pull through all five before working one half double crochet into our last stitch. So as you can see, it's just extending our decreases ever so slightly for those larger um, for those larger sizes. So going into row eight, we start with our turning chain of one. In the same stitch as our chain one, we are going to work one extended half double crochet. For those of us making a large three to a five XL, we're going to work an extended half double crochet into the next stitch. Side is extra small to medium, you don't have that stitch, so just ignore me for a moment. For sizes large through to 5XL, we're going to be working one extended half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So just as normal, we yarn over and insert and work our normal extended half double crochet into those next two stitches. For those making an extra small through to a medium, you don't have those stitches, so don't just wait for us for a second. So once we're all at this point, we are all going to skip the next stitch, working one extended half double crochet into our chain one space. So we yarn over and insert our hook into that chain one space, skipping that stitch underneath. We then work, we skip the chain one itself, working into the next stitch, working one extended half double crochet. We continue to repeat this all the way across. This is for all sizes. We're going to work one extended half double crochet into each chain one space and into each stitch across before we skip the next. So we skip this next stitch working into our chain one space instead. Working an extended half double crochet just as we did for all of our previous rows into the top of the next stitch. So continue to repeat that all the way across and I'll meet you at the end of row eight. 
when you have just your two stitches remaining at the end of row eight, we, all sizes will need to work just one extended half double crochet into the last two stitches. Just had to change, just had to add on another ball of yarn just at the end of my row, not ideally where I'd like to have done it. There we go. So at the end of row eight, you should have a stitch count of 16, 18, 22, 23, 25, 29, 33, 35, or 39 for a 5XL. For size extra small through to medium, for rows 9 to 13, you're simply going to work one extended half double crochet into each across. Just as we did before, you're working those five rows of extended half double crochet. Once sizes extra small to medium have completed rows 9 to 13, working one extended half double crochet into each across. For rows 14 to 21, you're going to repeat row 6 through to 13. So you can simply rewatch those chapters from row 6 through to 13 and you're ready to fasten off and weave your ends. For those of us making a larger size, so large through to 5XL, we have a few more rows to go <laughs> because we're going to be working just one more decrease to complete all of our decreases. That is, of course, that is going to be row nine. For a reminder, sizes extra small through to medium are going to be working a chain one followed by one extended half double crochet in each stitch across for rows nine through to 13. And then for rows 14 to 21, they're repeating row 6 to 13. So for those of us making a extra large through to a 5XL, we are going to be repeating row 3 and decreasing our stitches by our stitch count by a final decrease of 2. So I'm going to grab my stitch marker to mark my last six stitches and it is really important that you make sure you find that first stitch because it can get a little bit tricky at this point because of your decreasing. So one, two, three, four, five, and I'm just going to mark my sixth stitch as I was doing earlier in our decreasing. And we're going to be working one extended half double crochet into each stitch across until we have just six stitches remaining. And I will meet you there in a moment just to work those final two decreases. So once we have just those six stitches remaining, we are going to be working those extended half double crochets two together as we did before in row three. So we yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, bring our loop up, yarn over, pull through that first loop, yarn over to insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, bring a loop up. We should have five loops on our hook and we're just yarning over to pull through that first loop before finally yarning over, pulling through all five loops. We're then going to work one extended half double crochet into the next stitch before we decrease across the next two stitches, leaving the final one to work into. So we yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over to bring our loop up, yarn over just to pull through the first loop. We then yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over to bring our loop up. So we now have five on our hook, yarn over, pull through that first loop, yarn over and pull through the remaining five loops before we work one final extended half double crochet into that last stitch. So that is the final decrease in our left hand panel for the sizes large through to 5XL. At this point your stitch count should be um, for large 22, 24, 28, 32, 34 or 38 for a 5XL. And this will be the width of your cardigan all the way up across your shoulders now as well. So if you're happy with that, you can continue to work the remainder of our rows. So for rows 10 through to 13, we are going to chain one and work one extended half double crochet into each stitch across. So we're going to do that for rows 10 through to 13. So 10, 11, 12, so four rows. <laughs> I always have to calculate it on my fingers. So four rows of a chain one and an extended half double crochet into each stitch across. And I will meet you for row 14 once you've completed those four rows of extended half double crochets. Once you've completed those four rows of extended half double crochets, we're ready to go into row 14 so we can start our half double crochets. So we start with our chain one and turn our work. 
we'll be making one half double crochet into that first stitch, the same as our chain one. We're going to skip the next stitch and work one half double crochet, chain one, and another half double crochet into that next stitch. We're going to repeat this across to our last stitch, working one half double crochet, a chain one, and a half double crochet before we skip the next stitch and repeat that all the way across. And I'll meet you at the end of row 14. So once you've worked your final half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, we simply work one half double crochet into that last stitch. At the end of row 14, you should have either nine, 10, 12, 14, 15, or 16 chain one spaces. We're then going to chain one, ready for row 15. Oh, get a bit tangled when they get this long. Uh, and for here, we're going to start by working our half double crochet into the same stitch as our chain one, just as before. And we're going to skip that first stitch, ready to work our half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet into that chain one space. So half double crochet, chain one, and a half double crochet. We're going to repeat that all the way across, working the half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet into each chain one space across, and I'll meet you for our last stitch. Once you've worked into your final chain one space, we're going to skip that next stitch, working our final half double crochet into our last stitch. For row 16, we chain one, turn our work, ready to work our extended half double crochets into both those stitches and chain one spaces, just as we did before. So we're gonna work one extended half double crochet into the same stitch as our chain one. We then skip that next stitch, working our next extended half double crochet into our chain one space. before working our next extended half double crochet into the stitch, not into the chain one itself. We're then gonna skip the next stitch and continue to repeat all the way across, working one extended half double crochet into our chain one space and one extended half double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Skip the next and repeat across. Repeat all the way across and I'll meet you for our final stitch. I should have said our final two stitches for row 16. We are of course working one extended half double crochet into each of the last two stitches. Now all that's left to do on your side panel is simply work um, row 17 through to 21. So we're doing the same number of rows. We've just done that extra decrease so that we have a slightly wider neckline. So for rows 17 to 21, we're working a chain one and working one extended half double crochet into each stitch across for rows 17, 18, 19, 20 and 21. At the end of row 21, you can fasten off and weave in any ends to finish off this side panel. As always, if you have any questions or if you would like any help with this pattern, please comment below. I am here to help. As soon as you've finished your first side panel, snap a picture and share it over on social media, either in the Facebook group or over on Instagram so that we can all celebrate your success on completing these decreases and creating a beautiful neckline for your cardigan. I will see you soon for the next video where we're going to be working our decreases for the right side panel. If you haven't already stitched up the first part of your right panel, you can go ahead once you've finished this one and get those first few rows all done, ready for the next video coming out. Thank you as always for joining me for this tutorial. I will see you in the next video.